Question 7. The cumulative frequency table shows the marks some students got in a test. On the grid we need to plot a cumulative frequency graph for this information. We already have the cumulative frequency here so we don't need to add any of it up. And we're going to plot on the graph against the end of each group. So for instance the first point will be plotted at 10 and 8, so that's there. Now we need to plot the rest of the points and then join them with a smooth curve. Notice that we've joined up to the origin here because we know that 0 is included in this group and we stop at 60. And this is the highest mark, 60, which should match up to the highest frequency, 80. For part B, we need to find the median mark. In order to do this, we look at the cumulative frequency and the median is halfway through the data. So we'll take the total cumulative frequency, 80, divide that by 2 to get 40. If we read across from 40 and then down, we can read off the median mark. We should do that using some lines to guide us across from here and down from here. So we can read off the median mark here of 27. The acceptable range for this answer, depending on your graph, will be between 25 to 28. Students either pass the test or fail the test. The pass mark is set so that three times as many students fail the test as pass the test. Find an estimate for the lowest possible pass mark. If three times as many students fail as pass, that means 75% fail and 25% pass. So the pass mark must be set at the upper quartile. Let's find out what the upper quartile is. So if we take 80 and multiply that by 75%, we'll find that the upper quartile should be marked at 60. Again, as before, We'll read across from 60 and then down to find our upper quartile. Reading across from 60 and down to the mark, I get 37 marks. And again, depending on your graph, the acceptable range for this is 38, 35 to 38 marks.